Hey guys, it's been a little while and um, it's just not been a whole lot going on this lockdown. I'm sorry guys, but it is depressing. Ugh, now I'm working from home, which leaves me absolutely no excuse not to video other than I don't get dressed all day. I wear my pajamas and I don't comb my hair and and I, I gotta stop it. I gotta get out of this rut. It's ridiculous. But anyways, back to the dentures. Um, there was a few things I wanted to talk about that I was thinking about this morning while I was brushing my teeth. Um, one thing that, that I've never heard anybody talk about, and I've watched as many videos as I could find, is the length of the teeth. It's weird. Like on the outside, you know, they look long and everything. And, and with your normal teeth, your real teeth, on the inside, you can feel a good portion of the teeth. So something that surprised me with um, the dentures is that there is a very tiny bit of tooth below the gum. So in the back, it's all built, built up, built down, whatever, but it only leaves a very little bit of the tooth. And it's weird feeling. And at first, it really bothered me. It took a while to get used to that. I'm sorry, I'm cutting my head off, but my arm's not long enough. So, you know, on the front, it's like they push it against the the gum material so that the tooth shows on the outside. But there's very, very little on the inside. Uh, another update is I ordered... J.O.'s dentures. I looked into the Russell Klein's and being that he's on Etsy, my, um, if it's an FSA card, it's flexible spending account is what it is. For my work, my insurance has a flexible spending account and I got so much money on there to spend throughout the year. And then they take it out, you know, each paycheck to make up the difference. And Etsy just doesn't take it. And I've seen a couple people that they went ahead and paid for it and then turned it into their flexible spending account and it was denied. Where with J.O.'s dentures, it says it's a website and it, it says, you know, J.O.'s denture lab. And it took the card. Hopefully it pays for it. I mean, they're supposed to pay for dentures. It's in there as an approved thing and I'll show them to them. I'll take them down there and take them out of my mouth and show them. But I'm really excited. They're comparable from what I hear to the Russell Kleins, but I actually see better reviews on the Joe's dentures. And it's a lot of people say they don't know if it's Joe's or J O. It's J O. His first name is Jamie and I believe it's Onofrio is his last name. It's something like that. But um, he's fantastic, and I have my impressions. I don't know how well I did them. I He gives you three bags of the alginate to do your impressions, one for the top, one for the bottom, and one in case you screw something up. Well, I screwed up the first one for the top. I pushed it too far, and so you could see the whole bottom of the tray through the alginate and that was not going to work. At least I didn't think it was. So I threw those away and I did another one, but on this one, I don't, I don't know if I pushed it far enough in the back. I should have done a video of all of it, but like I said, my hair wasn't combed and I was looking a hot mess. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to fix that. But, um, I'm mailing them. You also get a stone mix where you fill up the impression trays with a, with stone material that turns the stone and it stabilizes the impressions while you mail them back. So I went to mail them today and it's Martin Luther King Day. So <laughs> mail, mail the, Lord, the post office was closed. So I didn't get them mailed out today. I'm really excited to take them to the post office tomorrow. He says I'll have them, my denture within three weeks. So I guess we'll see. I don't know. There's all kinds of crazy going on in the world today. So that could be true or not. It just depends. He's in Iowa and I'm in North Carolina. So that's quite a ways for the mail trucks, but we'll see. 
Um, these ones, for a while I was doing the powder glue. All right, let's talk adhesives because, ugh, adhesives are awful. The dentist had given me two different ones. They gave me Polygrip and Fixident. One had no zinc and one did have zinc. The one without zinc was basically goo. I mean, it just kind of layered it with goo. It did not hold very well. I guess zinc is the ticket. That's the magic ingredient. I'm low on zinc. My doctor wanted me to start taking zinc. I told her about how the adhesives have zinc. So she said, that's perfectly fine. So I started using the one with zinc and it, it did a much better job. In fact, that one was really good while I wasn't allowed to put adhesive on my extraction sites until they were closed up. So I just put it on the palette and then after a little while longer, I would put it on the front and on the palette, excuse me. And it, and it worked okay. I mean, it did the trick. It held them where they were supposed to be so that I could eat. But, um, you know, my gums are shrinking so fast. And then I got to the point I could use the powder and I'm not sure what kind, of, I think there's only one kind of powder, but it's, it's a powder adhesive. Man, that works really well. But I'm now to the point, I mean, you put that powder on and you put your denture in and it ain't going nowhere. Like, I don't think I could get it out if I wanted to. But at this point, just the last three days, my gums have shrunk so much that even that isn't holding anymore. When I first started using that, it would hold a good 24 hours. I mean, one time I ended up staying at my mother's and didn't get to take them out and clean them at night and reapply a little bit and I couldn't get them out and they held and the next day they held until I got home. So they held at least 24 hours. Um... Now, though, they're not, they hold maybe three hours because they're just so loose that every time I take a drink of something and I don't drink hot beverages, that's one thing with adhesives. Anything hot you drink just kills the glue, kills it. You're done. You got to start all over. And with a zinc product, you can't keep applying because it's bad for you. So I don't drink hot liquids, but I mean, even cold stuff, I use a straw now because everything I drink just gets up in there and washes all that glue. And now I'm starting to get the bubbles here again. Does anyone else have bubbles? Do you, do you know what I'm talking about or is it just me and, and my denture is crazy? But when my adhesive starts getting loose and I start talking, I've the bubbles, the air comes through the denture and comes out right here in the frenulum and the glue is gooey. So the air and the glue and the, the spit, I guess it sounds so gross, blows bubbles. It's ridiculous. It is so ridiculous and it's embarrassing. So thank God it doesn't happen until I'm like home. But, um, I know the lighting in here sucks tonight, but I was sitting here and I thought, well, <laughs> I did my hair and makeup this morning and I've got some cute PJs on, so I may as well go ahead and just do an update. When I get my wax try-in, I will definitely video that. I'm very excited about that. If my impressions are not good and Jamie emails me to tell me I need to do more, what I think I'm going to do is just go to the dentist because the impression kit with Jamie is $75. I don't want to spend another $75 to do it wrong again. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask him if I can go to the dentist and have them do impressions and send those or if I need to get his kit and take to the dentist and have them do it. Cause I mean, they know what they're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's an option. I'm going to see what he says about that. My insurance will pay for that. So 
that's my update. Uh, I'm clicking away. When they get loose, they click when I talk. <laughs> and I hate that sound. It's like those tribal people that click on purpose, like when they talk. Just reminds me of a Jim Carrey movie or something. But anywho, love you guys. And I will update you soon. Bye.